welcome back. Let's begin with news from the National Cricket Center. Raheem Cornwall of the Leeward Islands blasted an unbeaten 100 on day four at the Cricket Center, which has left TNT's cricketers shell-shocked tonight. The Leewards looked headed for defeat at 100 for five at one stage when Cornwall joined Steve Liebert and their partnership powered the visitors to a stunning five-wicket victory, watched by our very own Ruskin Mark. The TNT Red Force looked on course to wrap up things when they prized out three early wickets, including the skipper Devon Thomas for a well-played 57. But Steve Liebert, who made 93 in the first innings, was still there and found a willing partner in Raheem Cornwall, and together they did a number on the TNT bowling. Sterling had knocked Shannon Gabriel out of compliance when he split the webbing on his right hand as he attempted to hold on to a fierce back drive to effect a catch. Instead, he had to leave the field never to return, further depleting the TNT bowling stock. Cornwall and Libel didn't need a second invite and after lunch, when they resumed on 125 for 5, the two set about the TNT attack and the 116 runs required for victory. Cornwall took the lead and his big hitting basically pounded the TNT attack into submission as they were leaking runs at both ends as he teed off. He struck 11 boundaries in his innings and used his big frame to slam another six sixes to see the Leewards home. He was in a race against time and runs as Libel pushed and scratched at the other end to finish on 51 not out. Cornwall needed to get a move on and did exactly that. Mark Dial found himself in the unenviable position of trying to contain the carnage, but Cornwall was taking no prisoners and feasted on his offering, bringing up his 100 and a victory at the same time, moving from 95 with just two runs needed for victory. He launched another maximum over long off to secure the win and his stunt as the Leewards won back-to-back -back games with a five-wicket win on the road in TNT. Oscar Mark, Sports.